Thanks for staying with us. Now, over the last few years, I've tried to embrace farming and the countryside a little more. I've been to the ploughing championships on numerous occasions, but I thought it was time to head to a mart. So I travelled to Ballinrobe in County Mayo to visit their weekly mart and learn a thing or two. Well, it's a long way from Ballyferma to Ballon Road, but like marts all over the country, they play a vital role in the local community. And I've come to Ballon Road Mart this morning to find out more. Now, for someone who's never been to a mart, I didn't know what to expect. And Wednesday is Mart Day in Ballon Road. Crowds come from near and far to buy and sell animals and, of course, to catch up with friends. First up, I decided to take a look at the auction and see if I understood what was going on. Well, I can't see anyone nodding or buying anything, yet a cow is sold every few minutes. Tom McGuire from Ballon Road Mart gives me the lowdown on life at a mart. Tell me, how many uh, cows are going to be on sale here today? Uh, there's about 450 cows, as you call them. Well, they're various types now. They're not all cows. OK, there are uh, some heifers. And there's some bullocks and there's some weanlings and there's some cows. But in total today, uh, about 450, which is in keeping with the time of year. We have a good action here, thankfully. You, can, you heard them there yourself. I'm watching it in there now. He's brilliant. I'm looking around and I'm not seeing anybody bidding. How, do, how is he seeing it? Are you not supposed to see them? You're not supposed to see oh, them. Oh, I see you, it. You have the picture, Alan. Oh, have cute the... horse down here. <laughs> <laughs> well, you said that, no, not me. But No, look, at, to be honest, like our auctioneer, that's our, our, that's our top auctioneer in there, Ray Clark, right? And uh, we have uh, a lot of auctioneers. But so he, were they just giving them the wink or the nod and he knows yes. exactly what to do? Well, like, there's a lot of the same people every week, you know. Yeah. So he's well used to them. Are you finding then rural life more difficult now? Well, we're finding the agricultural side uh, 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 very testing at the moment. And especially with all the talk about Brexit in the last year. Is it affecting you? Like everybody, is it affecting you? Well, it is affecting us, but having said that, it's affecting us and we don't know what we're talking about. Yeah, because we don't know what's going to happen. Correct, Yeah. correct. I suppose sometimes farming is a quite a lonely business, so this is a, an outlet for them as well, to come and meet fellow farmers and come and say hello and just sort of get on with it and just have a, a cup of tea and maybe just have a bit of a social uh, morning together. Exactly, exactly, you're 100% right there. Like farmers like to come in here and have the chat and as I said about the people, bit around the ring there in the auctioneer everybody knows everyone yeah it's not like walking into a shopping center in dublin where you don't know, you everyone. Don't know anybody. everybody knows everyone and you say how are you tom how are you jerry how no, are you mick no, now you have How's it, it going? that's it that's let's it. go and have a cup of tea in the chat and the me's upstairs in the canteen and have the crack so now i'm a little more in the know but it's time to catch up with a few of the locals. So you're selling today. How many? How many are you selling? Uh, just two heifers here today. Two heifers. Have they gone through yet? Uh, no, they're coming in the next 10, 15 minutes. And how much are you hoping to get for them? Uh, about 240 a kilo, so roughly around 1,300 at all in total. They're roughly about 550 kilos in weight, so hopefully to get that. And is there enough here today that you're 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 good that you might sell it? Uh, there's there's plenty cute whores around here though, so they'll do all right. So, so they will. There's plenty of them around. Are you buying or selling today? I I, I might buy a few. You might buy a few. Yes. Is it the look of them now, or have you come in with anything in mind? No, I just look at them as they come in. And then you sort of go, OK, if that's worth it. Yeah, that's exactly it, yeah. Trying to get them for cheap, like? Well, hopefully, but it, it doesn't always happen. How much would you be spending? How much would you have today to spend? Uh, maybe maybe eight or nine hundred each. Eight or nine hundred each? Yeah, yeah. What kind of a farm do you have? I have only a mixed farm. Right. Small farm, yeah. Small farm. Just yeah. out the road here? About two miles out the road, two yeah. Two miles outside the road. I think you've enough questions to ask me now, have you? <laughs> now we've moved over to some sheep over here and we've met an old friend of Ireland AM, Paddy Rock. Good morning to you, Paddy. How are you? Well, we're getting into the afternoon. I don't know how first through the morning it was like. But, uh, I, I'm forgetting what it's like down here. We've been here so long. You were, you were down here buying some sheep? Looking for some sheep for, for next year for breeding stock and yeah. um, managed to get a couple OK, yes. Would you be always looking to buy or would you literally just come down for a social morning or afternoon? I'd always be looking to buy, but I think the marts themselves in general do provide a social outlet yeah. for, for farmers. I think a, a third of the people you hear today, see here today may have an interest in buying. The other two thirds may not. It's a, more of a, it's a good social outlet. Now it's time for the man of the moment, auctioneer Ray Clark. Ray, I've just been watching you. You are a master. 
at what you do here this morning. How long have you been doing this? I've been doing this now for the last 25 years. 25 years? Yeah. The way you're doing it there, it's so fast. I can hardly make out what you're saying. You're like, 200, 200, is it 250, 260? Are you go up, do you go up in tens or hundreds or what? Sometimes you go up in tens, but it's mostly in fives. But I tell you, if you're spending your own money, you, you wouldn't be long understanding what you're, what you're doing, and that's the truth. So you're going up in fives. I'm listening to you, so it's 25, 210, 250. And on an average, then, how much are these going for? It's like these two here behind us now. Well, I'd say the average price is around uh, 10 50 It depends on the weight of the heifer and the quality of the heifers that, that we're selling there today. Strong heifers are obviously are making more, but they're le making less per kilo, whereas lighter heifers are making more per kilo, but less money. I have to say, I've been standing here and watching you in action, and I've seen nobody actually bidding. How can you spot them what they're bidding? I know they're all very secretive, and it's all their own business. Is it a wink, is it a oh, nod? I've seen loads of different types of bidding. No, a lot of people don't want to, anyone to know their business, and the, you know, a scratch of the nose, oh, a wink of the eyes, something like that. But some people start waving at you as well. As soon as Ray auctions all the animals, it's time to gather payment, which goes on behind closed doors. Farming in Ireland has had a difficult time the last few years, and the locals in Ballinrobe want and need it to improve. So, Patsy, you're selling here today. Yes. How many? How many are you selling? Three. Three today. Yeah. Three. What kind? Yeah. What are they? Uh, heifers and um, cow. And uh, why are you selling them? And how much do you hope to get for them? Um, I had them already sold. Oh, you've sold them. Okay. Can you tell us how much uh, you got? Disappointing price. Twelve. Oh, really? Why is that? What were you looking for? Uh, always more than I get. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's that's the same as everybody here, uh, isn't it? Because, um, I, as you know, farming is not good. No. Not good, particularly for uh, dry stock farmers and suckler farmers. It's um, pretty bad. So you brought them down today. You didn't get as much, but you're you're happy enough you go away happy with enough. it. Anyway. Yeah, yeah. We, do, we sold anyhow. That's the main thing. And is there some days you'd come down you wouldn't sell at all? Well, um, that rarely happens. Right. You, you can sell any day you come, but you're really not happy with the prices. It's, um, you can't make a living it unless you have, as I said, a couple of hundred cows. And it's going back to the old days, I think, going, the farmers are getting bigger, the farms are getting bigger. Yeah. Small farms are being wiped out. Now you've, uh, talking about small little fellas, your grandson's here, what's your name? Luke. And do you like coming down to the mart? Yeah. And when you're, you're off school, so you're, you've come down, how often do you come down here? Every time I'm off school. And do you um, do you actually try and bid with your dad or with your granddad or do you, do you like selling the cows? I like selling them. Yeah. And he's not getting a good price today. No. And what else can be done to try and save smaller farms? Well, the single farm payment is a big issue. We need a fair deal for farmers. It, it was based uh, in 20. The metric was based back in 2000, and um, you know we need to provide a fair deal for all farmers, small and big farmers. Well, that's another one ticked off the bucket list. I don't know what to think about a mart, but you know what? I'll definitely be back. I had a great day. Your new Dolly the sheep. Dolly the sheep. And a big thank you to everybody in Ballinrobe there. I mean, it's great that we're able to get out. And like, when was the last time Ireland DM was in Ballinrobe? Exactly. So we're there, we were there. And uh, it, it's great to see it. And as I said, there's thousands of people who watch this show who go to Marts every week. And that's just part their of life. Of the that's day part job. Of, of their day job. And it was great to see it firsthand. But the, the bidding thing was, was hilarious. Well, I think any of us who have any, who have country relatives or people who live in the country yeah. and, and are, are, are in mm. farming, would have spent summers on the farm and would like a day at the mart was a day out. Yeah. You know? Oh, it did. And that's what they were saying. And even I was talking to the women in the canteen and stuff like that. Even when it's over, because it goes on all oh, day, because yeah. thousands of cows and sheep are sold sold every day, yeah. or the day that the week it's on. And they sort of said like there'd be people there and they'd be chatting and meet. That's their that's their weekly yeah, yeah. meet up where maybe it was a pub and it's because a of driving and, and said, driving we're now. We're only talking about how isolated it can be working yes. as a farmer and how lonely yeah. the job can be, yeah. so it's really and interesting. And so that is a real social element of it, and they get their old Paddy, Paddy Rock, friend of the show for many years. Uh, we just bumped into him, and I, it's just, it was a really lovely experience, I must say, and really lovely to meet everybody there, so... Uh, and an eye-opener, how much money is changing hands? <laughs> <laughs> where there's muck, there's money. <laughs> <laughs>
Um, right, we're moving on. Coming up next is the bra whisperer herself. Sinead Sanderson. What? The bra she's a bra whisperer. whisperer. She's a bra whisperer. She can Going from sheep and cows <laughs> to a bra That's whisperer. That's the way we just change gears here on AM. <laughs> now we are talking lingerie. Now, some really practical advice on how to find the perfect bra for you. You're sitting this one out, lads. It's just yeah. me. Stay tuned. <laughs> Thank God. <laughs>